Hey everyone, so today in this video I'll be talking about something called letter by letter search filtering. So let's get right into it. So basically I have already done an initial setup so this video doesn't stretch too long and I'll be walking you through the setup. It's nothing too complex. It's just a simple setup where I have a div and the heading and mainly I have this input over here which is the sim similar to this input. Uh, in that input I have a class name which refers to this class and that class has uh, that input has just a, a small styling set to uh, width and height um, apart from that there is this on change uh, property being used and in on change we are doing nothing but setting the value of the state uh, as e dot target or value so basically whatever i input it will get uh, it will get set into this state and the value over here will contain whatever i input in the input field apart from that i have another state created over here which is filtered state so filtered state will initially contain the user data the user data is nothing but the dummy data i have created uh, this is nothing but a bunch of names with their respective ids this is being imported over here and it's being set initially over here in the inside the filter state and then filter state is basically mapping and displaying all the names under an h2 tag so initially this is what we get an input and all the data from the filtered state so now what i have done here is i have mentioned here how most tutorials demonstrate search filtering and how letter by letter search filtering is done so basically what most tutorials do is they uh, basically they use something called includes along with the filter method so but uh, so basically what happens we have this user data where all the names are present and we use the filter method over there and uh, in filter while filtering we use the property uh, includes includes value value is basically what i'm typing in the input and item dot name is nothing but each name property that you see over here so basically item dot name everything is being converted to lowercase if that includes the value which we are typing then uh, that is what is given inside this res that is what is returned in this res and then it is set into this so basically whenever i start typing something in the input field uh, whatever uh, so basically we, it filters based on whatever is included in the value by comparing it with the item dot name so this is what most tutorials do but there is a drawback in this uh, uh, like way of doing it's not necessarily basically a drawback but there could be a different approach to this so basically what i'm talking about here is for example consider this uh, what includes does is if i have uh, two names considered over here one uh, in one name there is this uh, substring pz and over here also there is this substring pz here it starts from the beginning here it starts from the middle now when i search over here and i use that includes method so what includes does is if i'm searching for pz over here then it's going to show me both these values for example let's see i search for pz see so if i search for pz i get this as well as this i get this as well because this includes pz over here but sometimes what happens is that when we do search filtering and all we might want that uh, like when I write pz in the beginning I only want all those things all those names to be displayed which have the the starting first two letters as pz itself I don't want anything else to be displayed only the ones with, but which have pz as a substring from the beginning itself so how do we do that how do we code a certain in a certain way where we don't include based on what's uh, inputted in the uh, input field but based on but based on letter by letter so for example if i type p i get p over here but if i but you can see when i type p i also get this z z z1 because this includes p but i sh i only want the ones which have p and not not something else so how do we do that how do we do letter by letter filtering where whatever we type we get the filtered results based on what we type and there should be nothing additional that is what i'm going to show you so let's get right along with it so basically 
we are going to start coding right under here how letter by letter search filtering is done before we do that i'm just going to comment this out i hope you understood what i'm trying to convey here and the boilerplate that i've set up it's pretty simple so let's create another use effect over here okay so here we have use effect created so now let's just put this uh, put a condition over here that if value is not equal to empty string so basically we want the start so the search to start only if value is present right so yeah that's the idea behind that um, so if value is not equal to an empty string we are going to do similar something similar to this only so we are going to define a result variable we are going to take user data which contains of all the data all the name and we are going to filter it uh, we are going to take item and index and this part over here index is pretty important and i'll talk about why that is so basically now we'll we'll define what we need to return within result so that we can display it later okay so basically uh, what is going to can be contained in res what is going to be returned in res so what i talked about is based on whatever i type i only want those values to be displayed so i type pz i only want the filtered results to contain pz not zzz so there is something that javascript provides uh, it's a method called starts with so what we can do here is if item dot name or to lowercase similar as what we had done before but now instead of includes we'll be using something called starts with all right starts with value if it starts with uh, the value we have entered then we are going to simply return item dot name dot to lowercase the same thing as we had it over there uh, dot starts with value so if the item dot name if we are going to map through we're going to filter through the usernames and if it starts with the value we have inputted then we are going to return that those particular values right uh, but this is not over yet just hold on there's a there's one tricky thing we will have to do and i'll get to that so now basically and then uh, yes so basically first just let's keep it like this and see what we get now before we do that we also want to set the filter of course because we want to see it displayed down here in the filtered state so i'm just going to go down here and i'm going to add in set filtered state the result so let's just keep it this much and see what we get um, so now when i type p you can see i'm not getting the zzz1 the other zzz1 that i have getting p and then if i um, i'm only getting the ones which start with p and then if i try to write a a over here then i get the ones only with a t r and you see i only get the ones which are common so now the problem occurs when um, consider i have uh, basically wait i'll just empty this out uh, okay so here one more issue you can see when i completely empty the search filter it's not showing me the complete initial data so let's fix this part first so all we have to do there is uh, we'll just set an else over here that if the input part is empty then we want to set the filtered state back again to the default user data so what do we get over here uh, so consider i write p a t r i and then i remove everything okay so see now once the input is empty we get everything so now let's get back to the old problem that i was about to address so basically now consider if i write p a t and so i am basically getting this the correct way i wrote p a t and i got everything that's related to this uh, value but now consider that i write the next letter i write isn't included anywhere in this uh, in the data so i write a q so when i write q it's returning nothing that's fine uh, because this is not included anywhere this is this this is not present anywhere in the data so we are not getting anything that's fine but in some use cases what happens is we might want that uh, we might want the data to be returned 
should be only till p a t if for example what i'm trying to say is if q p a t q is not present then we should return the data only till which it is present so for example we should be able to see the data for p a t and since q is not present it won't be there so this is how sometimes uh, i have noticed in the search filtering of amazon and flipkart where you write a certain value and if a particular letter comes up which is not anywhere there then it still displays the results of those letters of the of that sub particular substring until which that data was present so we did find data till pat so when we add q we still want to show the data we had found until pat so how do we do that so this to solve this that's why i had used that's why i had told this index is going to come in necessary so basically what we can do is when in this if statement where we are checking if the value starts with uh, name starts with this value then return we can store this index in a variable okay we can store this index in a variable and then when we add the next letter which is which is no more existing in the data in the uh, entire data what we can do we can store we can take that stored index and we can write an else else statement and in that we can extract the substring from zero till that index till that index which was stored over here so for example to uh, give you a better overview i'll just code this up and show you so what i can do is i can uh, take up i can initialize declare a variable correct index what that's going to do is we are going to take uh, we are going to write correct index over here and i'm going to take the value dot length and i'm going to store it in this correct index so what is this going to do is so consider i have p a t right p a t so it's going to take the length of this which is 3 and it's going to store it in correct index so correct index will now have 3 as soon as i write q as soon as i write q it's going to go to else because obviously this doesn't work anymore because there is no such data so uh, as soon as i write q it goes to else and we are going to have that correct index as 3 that much we remember right that much we already had it stored over here so what's going to happen next is when it goes to else we can return we can do something like this item dot name dot to lower case dot starts with value dot substring of 0 to the correct index so what does this do this basically uh basically i'm just saying if a letter comes up which is no more uh, due to which the entire value is no more available what i'm doing is i'm storing the correct in i'm storing the index until which the data was available so in this case 3 for pat then correct index stores 3 then as soon as q comes up we go to the else statement because this is no more value valid we go to the else statement and then we do the same thing item dot name dot lower case dot starts with and we are going to uh, we are going to only put the substring so for uh, so the value which we have which is patq we are going to take substring of that value from 0 till the correct index correct index is 3 so 0 to 3 and this uh, if, when we do 0 to 3 in substring the 3 is not counted so 0 1 2 is only included so we 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 are returning basically only the 0 1 and second index of value which is pat and we are not returning q so in the else statement we will only get the results for pat and this is what we exactly wanted so let's also just test this out once So I'm just going to save this. So what used to happen before is when I used to write P A T, used to get uh, this as we expected. But now when I after that when I used to write Q, all this used to get empty. But what we wanted is when we write Q over here, we still wanted this data to be visible for the uh, other substrings which were present. So let's see if that happens. There you go. You can see. I write Q. I can write anything after this. it will show me the results till p80 no matter what and after that since these 
are not included so we won't get the data for all of that but but in, in the in the previous condition when we used to write q it used to see that there is no such word as pa no such substring as patq starting from the beginning then it used to just return as empty data but in some cases we might want that until uh, till the correct substring till the correct index value should be returned even though the entire substring is not present so this is what that use case solves so now basically you can see when i empty this out we get the entire search result when i write anything so for example let's consider something else like mm, something like z it will only show me for z and then if i write something which is not included at all it will still show me the value for this z at least and if you want the other way around where you know if i add something uh, if if the extra letters which come after uh, aren't included anymore and if you want that no no data should be visible for that case then you can just remove this correct index uh, uh, correct index snippet that i just added and in that case you will only get the output for the ones which are exactly present so this kind of solves the letter by letter search filter i was talking about uh, so we can basically get rid of this so this is the entire code uh, for this particular letter by letter search filter which is not that lengthy just uh, just a conceptual thing also i realize that uh, we can add the dependencies over here which is nothing but value and correct index so this is to ensure that only when these values update or change only then the user will discard this is not particularly necessary over here right now but it could come in handy late at, during later stages so yeah this is all about the video if you found this insightful then please hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more thanks